YouTube. This is Live with Felicia. And I got a Hobby Lobby 75% off craft clearance sale haul. My stuff is scattered on the floor. I've had my things for several days. And I had the bag in the kitchen on the floor. I have three dogs, but it's the little one, the Chihuahua. I don't know what's wrong with him. He knows he's going to get in trouble. He's on consequence right now, which means he's outside with the big dogs. And today he's going to miss his walk. But anyway, he's potty trained. But this dog will still, despite knowing he's going to get in trouble, because when he pees in the house, he won't even look at me. He won't come to me. And that'll let me know that he peed in the house. The thing is, he pees by all of my my new bags. So I have my new Hobby Lobby craft clearance haul bag on the kitchen floor. The other day, I picked it up, brought it to my craft room, and set it on my lap, not realizing it was pee on it. <laughs> I was so upset. So I cleaned it up, put it back in the kitchen, and yes, he peed on it again. So I dumped the bag on the floor, and he he's not going on his walk today. That dog, he knows better. I don't know why he, well, I think he marks his territory to compete with the larger dogs. But anyway, you guys, my store... Hoppy Lobby, they do um, intermittent markdowns a couple weeks ago. Maybe it hasn't been that long. But anyway, I shared a video of the rubber stamps markdown 75%. Went the other day and the dies were marked down along with some Tim Holtz items. I don't think the punches were marked down at the time. But Hobby Lobby, they do, and they have been consistent with marking different departments down within the same department at different times. So when you see this video, your stores perhaps may have marked these down already, or they probably won't for a while. It all just kind of depends. So selection will vary by store, by region. But I was excited to see these. And I have several collections by Spellbinders. I like these because these offer the embossing or the decorative edge in the die. And I don't have a lot of dies. You know, it's hard to see it. Let's see here. A couple packs. Yeah, right here. It has, an, it's not a stitch. But it's a design that's embedded, that's engraved in, in the, um, the die cut or in the die. And I like that. So when this is die cut out, you'll have all of that texture around the perimeter of the die cut. Love, love, love that. So I picked up several different shapes. And then... I need to start paying more attention to the letter press or the foiling stamps. I do have the original foil press machine, the Anna Griffin's version when it first came out years ago. I have yet to pick up the Gemini Juniors. That's the one I will get. I do have the Gemini Junior, but I'm going to pick up Crafter's Companion foil machine these are by Spellbinders, but you can use any brand. And $4.99, you get all of these individual phrases. And what's cool, you get the coordinating stripped dies, which you can use with these phrases alone or with other sentiments. Love, love, love that. And all basically all of the Christmas dies were marked down. There were other collections by Tim Holtz. You could check out my live video and see what's available. But there were a lot of Christmas dies. I didn't realize Hobby Lobby had so much Christmas crafts, but I, I like these. I like, like them. These are thin lids. 
Okay, and then also, now the funny thing is, Hobby Lobby had these marked down. It's the UPO papers. They do have the UPO ink pads, but those weren't marked down. The funny thing is, they had this marked down, but then they had the new paper, which is the same thing, not marked down. <laughs> so pretty much same thing, except different dates. As if this stuff is going to expire, right? <laughs> but not bad for $3.49. This is the 5 by 7 inch. I picked up several of those. Okay, now I got to get to the floor. Because keep in mind, I just dumped my things on the floor. I didn't want to. Well, I did wash my hands, right? Okay, here's another collection. $5.74, 75% off, regular price, $23. I need to hit up the main store. We have three stores in my neck of the woods. Perhaps the main store had additional collections available. And you see the designs. So this collection, you get the dies that gives the detail. And then you also have the dies to die cut out the detailed shape, if that makes sense. You could use them individually or together. So if you use the one with only the detail, that one don't cut the design out. Make sense? Alrighty. And this wasn't on clearance, but I figured I better get it before it sells out. I got the last two packs of these cute felt carrot stickers. Aren't those cute? Even got shading. All right, and then I picked up this. And this is cool. I love me some alcohol inks. I don't think I have all the colors. There was a time I stayed abreast. But this collection is so worth it. Regular price, 25 bucks. Marked down to $6.24. And I opened this up in the store and I'm happy I did because not only did the content that's supposed to be in the box came out, but somebody had stuck in a distressed ink pad. And I saw it and thought, oh, that's cool. That comes with this collection too, but no. I grabbed, I looked at the, at the informational sheet, which I guess I didn't put back in the box, or maybe I looked at this. No, there was a sheet in here that had everything included. Maybe I didn't put it back in the box, but I took the ink pad out. But you get a lot in this collection. Remember, $6.74. You got a clear block that's really thin. You got these stickers, which a year and a half ago, I was in Paris, my husband and I. <laughs> Love to see that. Now, I wonder if these are photopolymer or acrylic. I hope they're photopolymer. I do not care for acrylics. I prefer rubber, red rubber, wood mounted, but I'll do red rubber clean. Okay, and this is acrylic. I know that because they're stuck to Tim. I didn't know you messed around with this cheap acrylic. Okay, they're stuck to the backing. There is a way around that. But anyway, that's why. One reason why I don't care for acrylic. But despite that, you get a whole lot more. You get the applicator with the foam, foam squares. You get a Distress Black Suit Mini Ink Pad. You get, I'm assuming this is glossy cardstock. Oh, here's the informational booklet here. Yeah, okay. You have your kit contents here. But you get all of this ink. This is so worth it. You basically get a whole pack of alcohol ink you got this beautiful bright yellow and there's names to it but i'm not going to give the name you have a red and you have this 
teal color, which is stream. All of these, I believe, are original colors. I recognize stream from when Tim Holtz, I think that's one of his original colors. There, I don't know how many colors are available now, but check this out. You also get a little bottle of blending solution, and then you get the mixative. This is gold. This was a fabulous deal. And then you get a booklet. Let's see. I am going to, when I first started crafting in 04, not, not um, long after, how long has Tim Holtz been out? Because I remember his, his alcohol inks were one of the first things he brought out. Maybe with the distress ink pads too. But anyway, I played a lot with the resist ink pads, the alcohol, and those reflective powders. I am going to, well, I got some new stamps in. And I am going to try to conjure up those techniques from long, long ago. Okay, I got more, you guys. I got more. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I had to pick this up for $1.49. Can't beat that, right? This stuff don't expire. <laughs> and then I, $2.99. I'm not going to pass this up. I probably have these colors. I don't know, but these are primary colors. You can mix these colors together and form different colors. And you guys, many of you might cringe at me just saying this, but I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it and I'm going to do it. <laughs> but I do have uh, Crafter's Companion, their alcohol markers. I got some by Copic. This is a red color. And I am going to use one of Tim Holtz. Oh, this is poppy filled. Love poppy flowers. I'm going to refill it with one of his reds. I'm only going to do it with basic colors that I can really match up together. But why not? The Copic, well, if you guys don't know, Copic has a new refill bottle. And you get half, less than half of what you used to get. For the same price or it costs more so it's expensive for my yellows and reds my primary colors that's exactly what i'm gonna do okay and then i got this collection here same price 2.99 i got these dies once again these have the texture these have the texture and they also die cut <laughs> I've used that collection already. I got a band all the way over. I got stuff just scattered. But I'm almost done. I picked up these for $2.24. And I like these because of what it states. Machine Works and Supply Co. Inventory Check. Design Studio. Ink and Paint Department property of art department. Isn't that cool? I would not have gotten this <laughs> if it didn't say those things. And I didn't realize I got these. Regular eight bucks, two dollars. And then more foiling stamps. Love these. Birthday wishes, sending love, just a note, it's your day. And like the larger collection, you also... Now, this is a long, okay, why, why, why is the die so long? The die is a lot longer than the longest strip here. Okay, I don't know. I, I can't call it. I cannot call it. All right. And then picked up these Distress Oxide Sprays. $2.99. So you pay $1.50 for one. And I got two collections of these because of the colors. You get two popular vintage colors. The Vintage Photo and the Walnut Stain. Now, there could have been other colors. Yeah, I need to hit up the other Hobby Lobby. I only saw, well, I got what was left. I'll just keep it at that. Okay, also got these. These are cool for $1.24. 
Now these were not on the but I picked up these while I had the chance because I'm sure they'll be gone when I go back. All right, almost done, you guys, almost done. Also picked up these. I got these, which are, are these alcohol? Okay, reflective metallic surface inks. I guess you use these on metal. Oh, look at here. I didn't realize I had this dual set of Distress Oxide inks. Raspberry and Spiced Marmalade. And then, fall is my favorite time of year. Got these, look, five bucks for a steel roll die. You can cut through any and everything with steel roll dies. Had to pick that up. And then, let's see, what is this? Um, Did I share this one? Okay, I got two packs of these. You can do so much with your alcohol. You can color your ribbons, your flowers. You could do a lot with, and you can color metal so much. And I was not going to leave. Look, if I had left this, it would have been lonely. It would have been the only one. <laughs> it would have felt left out. I wasn't going to do that to that set. Okay, um, the last thing I got, and this wasn't on clearance. I did use my coupon, but word is, people, actually, I read this too. Hobby Lobby is supposed to do away with their 40% off coupon. I guess they're going to follow Michael's. Lord for, forbid Joann's from doing it, please. <laughs> Joann's, they've been really liberal <laughs> with their coupons. <laughs> but I used the 40% off coupon for, um, I, I have been looking for something like this. And who knows, I probably have it. There's a couple other fonts available. It's a stencil. And you can use this in place of a of a stamp. And I think it, it'll be easier to use than a stamp. So when I go back today, I will pick up the other font. $5, use my 40% off coupon. And you guys, that's going to do it for this video. Who knows, if I find other stuff, I'll come back with, with another um, haul video. Now, it seems that Hobby Lobby... They offer these craft clearance deals twice a year. Yay! <laughs> With a clearance like this, a clearance deal, you don't need a coupon, right? But no, they got to keep those coupons coming. <laughs> all right, if you like this video, like it, subscribe, share, and I want to thank you all for watching, as always. But let's see. I don't think I shared this one. It's a Christmas. Where are my glasses? Darn it. Oh, here they are put my glasses on so I can see. Thank you, Lord. Let there be sight. Okay, um, a Christmas collection. Same setup as before. Oh, and look, there's a die that has a decorative perimeter. But these dies are much longer too than these. I wonder, what is that about? Perhaps to create longer sentiment i don't know you know let's compare it to okay none of these all right you guys it is what it is right <laughs> it is what it is i don't i don't know maybe i don't know but anyway this price i do know you cannot beat the price love 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 it